was resting in the siding. Sometimes he thought, It's really tiring to be such a large and splendid engine. One does have to keep up appearances, so... Beep, 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 beep. Hello, lazy bones, whistled Henry. What cheek, spluttered Gordon. That Henry is too big for his wheels. Fancy speaking to me like that. Me, who has never had an accident. Jammed whistles and burnt safety valves, accidents, as burst innocently. No, indeed. High spirits. Might happen to any engine. But to come off the rails like Henry did, well, I ask you, is that right? Is it decent? Then it was Henry's turn to take the express. Gordon watched him getting ready. Be careful, Henry. You're not pulling the flying kipper now. Mind you, keep on the rails today. Henry went off in a huff, and Gordon yawned and went to sleep. Not for long. Wake up, Gordon, said his driver. A special train's coming, and we're to pull it. Is it coaches or freight cars? Cars, said his driver. Cars, said Gordon. <laughs> Gordon's fire was slow to start, so Edward had to push Gordon to the turntable to get him facing the right way. I won't go! I won't go! grumbled Gordon. Don't, don't be silly! Don't be silly! puffed Edward. At last, Gordon was on the turntable. The movement had shaken his fire now burning nicely and making steam. Gordon was cross and didn't care what he did. He waited till the table was halfway round. I'll show them, I'll show them, he hissed. He moved slowly forward to jam the table, but he couldn't stop himself and slithered into a ditch. Whoosh, he hissed. Get me out, get me out. said his driver and fireman. You're stuck, you silly great engine. Don't you understand that? They telephoned Sir Topham Hatt. So Gordon didn't want to take the special train and ran into a ditch? What's that you say? The special's waiting? Tell Edward to take it, please, and, and Gordon, leave him where he is. We'll get him out later. On the other side of the ditch, some little boys were chattering. Oh, doesn't he look silly? They'll never get him out. They began to sing. Silly old Gordon fell in a ditch, fell in a ditch, fell in a ditch. Silly old Gordon fell in a ditch all on a Monday morning. Gordon lay in the ditch all day. Oh dear, he thought, I shall never get out. That evening, they lifted Gordon and made a road of sleepers under his wheels to keep him from the mud. Strong ropes were fastened to his back end, and James and Henry, pulling hard, managed to bring him to safety. Gordon crawled home, a sadder and wiser engine.